Hi there, Scott from Wessex Plates. Um, this is my entry for Pinewood CH's competition on his. Congratulations on your 300 subscribers. Um, what the competition involves is making a netting needle and then making a sample of net they're going to do or you use in your system. So, um, he's from Switzerland, so I'm going to attempt using my Rucksack Swiss Army knife model. It's a one with a locking blade. So, when that goes out there, a little thing goes up inside there, so it's locked. And the plan is when I've pecked out the little section where the needle area is, I can get the blade in with the saw teeth and um, remove material that way. Plus, the hardwood piece I've got, um, I can use the saw on the Swiss Army knife and I can have three goes at it. You can see I've got enough material there to have three attempts. So, I'll start sawing this up and get back right to you. See you in a bit. Okay, here we go. Looks about right. That's amazing. And I'm also taking the sort of tongue and groove section off there. Take that tongue off of there. Groove, whatever. So, Getting there. Will the lock hold out? Cool. Nice bit of hardwood. Come on. Come on. break. Come on, Swiss Army Knife. Oh, hey! Grr. Man stuff. What's right in that one? Yeah. Go with that one. Alright, load more of that. Get back to you. 
Sorry, this up. Come on. No sympathy for you, knife. Come on. As we'd like to see, steel beats wood. Okay. Right, tie that up, see you in a while. Hard work, this. <sighs> yeah, nice bit of hardwood, Scott. Nice bit of hardwood. Okay, now I've got it vaguely flat, before I spend too much time on it in case I have a failure, I'm going to have a go at cutting the square end and the angles off the front. So, I'm guessing, somewhere about there, let's get out a bit easier for me, should be able to see that, just check he's in the camera. Muggy night, this is. So, there. Damn good night this was. Right, so I'll tie that up. I'll sit by cutting off of a knife. Right, back again. Uh, see the shape coming on now? I think I'm going to just ease that profile back to about there. You get a nice finer point. And I've got a difficult part of trying to take the channel out in there. This blade's pretty good for this sort of work. But I am asking a fair bit of it with this hardwood. I'm 
I'm not marking any of this out. I've done a paper template. I'm not using a pencil. Um, you know, if I was doing this, you know, as I work in a school, I'd be advocating. Oh, let's get it symmetrical. Let's fold a piece of paper in half, cut a template out, glue stick it on, let's do a proper job. But would you have a glue stick out in the middle of nowhere? Probably not. Would you have a pencil? Possibly. Dry paper? Would you bother about making a template? Nah. So, let's have it rough and ready. And what I get, hopefully, should be pretty close. Zarkov's ship there. Right. So I'll use the tip of the point of the knife there and scribe out what I'm trying to achieve in the middle. See how close I get in a minute. See ya. Uh, I like that quite chunky here. Just across. Whether you can see that or not, probably can't. That's a quite a blunt needle point. Oh, so about like really now. fast. The battery's about to die before changing over. With that scored there, I'm able to come in a few mil. I cut across. And down. I'm able to take bits out. So I'll keep doing that. I get into a bit of a gouging motion now. Eh? And I think at one point I lost the very tip of my blade. Evil grain in this thing. Eh? So once I'm through, the plan is to use the saw blade. Back later. Hope I'll have a punch a hole in. Right, about 30 seconds of SD card left. There's the hole, there's the saw. And what I'm doing is just it around. I'm basically sawing my way out and around and moving it backwards and forwards squaring that edges off and I'll go all scraping Have a favourite bit and some linseed. Right, so there's the big boy himself.